since we're talking millions of damage here, I got to ask you a question. So I did my first, over the last two days, I did my first path of building thing where you go through and you like prepare ahead of time. Because I, I absolutely was molding and refused to use this dog shit program for the entire first time of playing the game. Because I'm like, I'm not doing any add-ons. I'm not doing all this shit. I just want to play the game that's in front of me because I haven't even killed the, the boss. Log in, bro. I just want to log in and pump. And it wasn't pumping very hard was the problem. So everyone kept telling me to download these add-ons. So I did the add-ons, okay? So for this first time, I decided how I'm going to make my character is pick a thematic and then build it around that. So I'm like, I'm Darth. I'm going to make a Darth character. I'm going to make Palpatine and we'll do lightning. So then we started looking at all the lightning things. And long story short... We decided on Ark and Crackling Lands because it's the only one that looks cool. That's basically my only determining for They look cool and they kind of look like Palpatine. So we went with those. And by the time POB was all done with the configure level 91 and put all the pieces together on a trade account, it said like anywhere from 2.5 to 4 million DPS. But is that enough damage to do anything? Or am I already screwed if I follow my own path of building? How, how bad are we talking? I was going to say, I guess I can relate really well to this because like 3 million DPS is a number I'm extremely comfortable with. Okay. So here's what I can say. Number one, um, if you have that DPS on your character, that's a good job. Step two, understand whatever DPS you have, cut it in half if you cannot stand still and actually cast on the boss. So if you have to constantly, like if you're not tanky enough to constantly sit there and just cast and out leech the boss mechanic i'm not talking about map bosses i'm talking about more so like your void stone progression right and even then just know that that dps is still good enough to get your four void stones it's going to be on the lower side on some of them but that's a good start so i'm using arcane cloak arc and crackling lance and i'm spamming all the mana tree nodes and mana region and mind over matter with cloak of defiance I'm, i mean your pob said two to three mil so yeah. let's go off the calculator, and that seems okay to me. Okay. Do you have guard cooldown recovery on your tree? Because you said you're building around Arcane Cloak, so you probably tagged Arcane Cloak. So make sure you have to be realistic about your damage uptime about Arcane Cloak, right? 3.2. I mean, that's still oh, a respectable amount. You still have 3 million yeah. damage. Without. That's fine. You don't need it. Okay. All I right. usually uh, leak start, uh, leak start builds... Um... Or low budget leak builds in general. If I have about three million shaper DPS, I'm happy. That's like that's, that's easily four void stones, hundred percent. You've played since this leak, right? Uh, DM, how are your feelings around the progression of the game? Like, what what's your genuine take of the PUE from what you've experienced so far? So for me, uh, it has been two things: incredibly discouraging and very encouraging. It's a yes and no answer, Gazi. Yes and no, yeah. It's a yes and no <laughs> answer. Because uh, it is massively discouraging when you look at all the things I don't know initially. But then you realize that all the things I don't know are the reason to continue playing the game. Like it goes, it goes from I am super worried because I haven't killed any Ubers and I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm doing three and a half, you know, damage an hour, and my chat's roasting me for my character being dog shit, and I keep having skill issues and walking into stuff, and my cat jumps on my keyboard, to like all of the, the problems and, and things that I'm worried about end up being the reason I actually like the game, because there's all of these things to continually work on. Like if I use the comparison um, to previous games I have played, uh, and I'm not just talking ARPGs, but in general, most of the games I have liked are ones where there is a significant amount of things for me left to continue to accomplish. And none of those are easy. And none of them are something I've either done before or know how to accomplish immediately. Like they're all time-gated, skill-gated, knowledge-gated types of investments. So for that reason, I would say that initially looking into POE for me has been like massively overwhelming. But then when I refuse to try to become a pro and like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to suddenly beat these guys who have been playing for 10 years. When I forget all that and I just try to experience it as a plebeian, it's actually quite fun. And then the whole, the whole like scary part of it just goes away because the point's not to be good. It's just to do whatever the fuck I want to do. And it seems like there's quite a bit that I, if I want to make Palpatine, I can, you know, and who gives a shit if it's, you know, 85 bajillion DPS, as long as I'm having fun with it. So for me, that's been my POE experience. And it took a bit of time to be able to, to get there. I'd say it took like the first week or two 
really to like get past the the anxiety of having all this stuff. But once I got past it, it, it became like infinitely more enjoyable. You're in for the long run, DM. I see the, I see your face when you play the, uh, PUE these days. I mean, yeah, you're hooked already. I like, actually that like IV it. That bag is just started. I'm wondering how long it's going to take me to actually get anywhere. Because I'm what I'm enjoying is the process of not copy pasting. Like, I know that's like every time I, I do my own thing, everyone's like, you're an idiot. Just go copy pasta build. Like, what are, you, what are you doing? Do a league starter or whatever. But it's like, that's not what I, that's not why I enjoy Path of Exile. I, I want to, I want to make mistakes and try to, you know, if so eventually when I do get one, it's like, oh, shit, you know, that's actually good. We had a few of those moments where Shield Crush where it's like, oh, wait a minute. That actually does kind of work. I went from, you know, 1300 to 2400 DPS. Holy shit, log in. And so then... You know, I, I want more of those moments, and that's kind of what's making me enjoy it. And to be honest, it makes me feel like I'm learning the game better. Because uh, I feel like if I copy pasta build, the result will end up being the result I want, which is to kill everything. But I'm not really going to understand why. And I feel like that's if true. you know, I kind of need to have like the league after league after league of like retuning the same garbage build until it becomes not a garbage build to at least understand the mechanics enough of the game. To be able to actually play the game for realsies you know what i mean That's yeah let me cool. show you since you had that game uh, in my hideouts oh yeah well, do i get a look at the, do i get a look it. at your uh your trapped helmet here okay no, i mean you realize i have no idea what i'm looking at so i mean cool <laughs> looks like a decent helmet i guess it's all right i mean yeah i see a lot Can't of things to say minion so on it there yeah it, it's uh it's pretty crazy took 7.3 thousand divines to finish which was surprisingly low but Still an obnoxious Did amount you of say 7,000 divines? Yes. You, you want to see my one. prize possession item? All right. Where? Hold on. Let me see. Where, what is my best item? I mean, this one's got 14% fire and chaos resistance crafted on it. That's pretty good. Easy. Yeah. And uh, this Dawnbreaker is, is uh, plus 16 maximum light. I got 2,200 armor there. I, kinda, I like that one. So, I mean, look at that. Look at that. What do you think about that? The replica dream feather. This one cost me a pretty penny. Ooh. Uh, that's pretty I mean, good. I'm sure your character is way tankier than mine, though. <laughs> I tell you that right now. 127,000 armor. No big deal. <laughs> I got 19,000. Close. I mean... Without I, flasks. <laughs> but, you know, if you if I tried to kill something, um, you know, it's going to take a few hours. But we'll, we'll, we'll get something. To, I mean, I could probably kill something. Some kind of boss. But, you know, Shaper was... I was on track to run out of map space by the time Shaper died, I think was uh was the real problem there the whole ground was going to disappear well. first